Hey everyone, Sage here from Keeper and welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be diving into Keeper's template feature, one of the most effective ways to streamline your bookkeeping workflow and standardize processes for all of your clients. Now, if you're looking to save time and keep your services consistent across the board, then this video is for you. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on all future releases. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments section below or send us a message using the purple widget in the bottom right corner of your Keeper account. And lastly, check out the description of this video so you can find helpful links and resources covering today's topic. Let's dive in. When you connect a new client to Keeper, a default list of sections and tasks will automatically be applied to the client's close page. This list provides a basic structure to kickstart running the month end close for that client. You can also create your own client specific tasks in both the non-closing and closing task areas of the close page. And whatever customizations you make to the close page for this client will roll over month over month. Setting up clients one by one is fine if you only have a few clients, but it can start to feel very manual and repetitive once you're handling a higher volume of clients in Keeper. Some tasks are very unique, whereas other workflows are fairly consistent across the board. So for instance, if you run payroll for most of your clients on a bi-weekly basis, you don't necessarily want to open up 5, 10, or 15 different client pages and recreate the same task over and over and over again. And this, my friends, is where Keeper's Templates feature becomes a very powerful tool. With templates, you can set up bundles of tasks and apply them across multiple clients at once, making task management much quicker and more efficient. This feature significantly streamlines your workflow, ensuring each client has the task they need and frees you up to focus on higher value work. Templates in Keeper are only accessible to an admin or manager users, and you can find them in two main areas, either at the top middle of your client list right here, or if you're in the close page of client, you have a drop down arrow that also takes you to the same templates hub. Now, as you can see on this top bar, there are a ton of different types of templates in Keeper, but for today's video, we're gonna focus specifically on task templates. And before we dive into a few different examples, I wanna review the basic principles of templates in Keeper. One, templates are a way to add bundles of tasks, due dates, and assignees across clients. Two, templates cannot be used to delete any tasks that are already on the close page. Three, once a template is applied, the template and client are not linked to each other. So for example, you can make changes to the client's close page without ever affecting the template or affecting any of the other clients who also had that same template applied. And now going forward, each monthly close page is copied from the last month's close, not the template. Four, multiple templates can be applied to a client. So for instance, a monthly bookkeeping and bi-weekly payroll template. And five, you can reapply templates if you make edits, but be aware that this could override any customizations you've made on the client's close page. And you can read more about this in our article in the Help Center, which is linked below in our description of the video. When you open up the templates feature, by default, it's gonna put you in the task section. And you're gonna find two different sections. You have the client task templates, where a default task template and new client onboarding template will be there for you when you start Keeper. And you're also gonna find the community task templates, which is where you can browse the community templates that other Keeper users have uploaded. Just click on this browse button, and you're gonna see a handful of different options that you can interact with, copy over to your own account, and edit, customize, or even save for later. To build a new template, just click on the plus button that you see on the left-hand side of your screen, right over here. And that's gonna take you to this pop-up. And from here, you're gonna be able to select the sections that you wanna be in your template. And for instance, if you're building a payroll template, you would add a non-closing section. And that's because payroll tasks are not part of the month and close. So they would fall into the category of non-closing, which can be daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, annually, or even one-off tasks. So. As you add tasks, make sure to assign them to yourself or a team member and set that frequency. And for this template, since we're talking about payroll, this could be bi-weekly or semi-monthly on the 15th and 30th. So let's actually show you what this looks like. First, let's call this our payroll template. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click and add a non-closing section. We're gonna add a task, choose who it's assigned to, and then pick the repetitive nature of that task. In this case, it'll be bi-weekly, every other Friday, with the very first date happening on the 8th. And then I'm gonna save it. And just like that, we've added a task to our first template. Now, once the template is complete and looks the way that you'd like it to, it's easy to apply it across 
the board for multiple clients, just hit the apply button that you see right here. And then from there, you're gonna have a selection of all the different clients that you could select. You could either pick everyone or choose one or two from this list. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply it to my Lindsay Price bookkeeping account. And now that I've applied it, if I close out of this pop-up and I go to the close page for that practice, I can now see that my repetitive payroll task is now here, assigned to me with it being every two weeks on every other Friday. Another valuable template for streamlining your Keeper setup is the monthly bookkeeping template. And you can create this by duplicating Keeper's default template, which you can see right here on the left-hand side, and by pressing the duplicate button. From here, you can give it a name. So we'll call it our monthly bookkeeping template. And then you're gonna notice that all of these different sections and tasks mimic what you're already familiar seeing on the close page. Now by customizing it with specific assignees, due dates, and roles for your team, you can set this up for multiple clients at once, saving you a ton of time. For instance, if you know that in general, you like to have your accounts reconciled by the fifth of the month, you can assign that as a due date in the template. And it's gonna say November 5th because that is the current month that we're in. But as a reminder, closing task due dates automatically roll forward each time you open up a new close page. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna assign the reconciliation tasks to myself. I'm then gonna pick a due date, which could either be a business day or a specific date. So we're gonna pick the fifth and now it's been updated. And you can do the exact same thing for any of these other tasks, as well as the many other reports you have down below. Now, once you apply the template, all of the accounts in the account rec section are gonna say that they're due on the 5th of November. But let's just say that for one of your clients, you had a few mid-month statements. You can easily adjust the due dates for the specific tasks for that client in their close page. This will not affect the template and it's not going to affect any of the other clients. So the big takeaway here is that you can use a template to have standardization across clients, but you are more than welcome to go client by client and customize the tasks and workflows as needed on their close page. You can also leave some of the due dates on this template empty if you know that they're going to be very client specific. Now a pro tip is that you can actually assign tasks by the role as opposed to a specific person. So if you see here on my main dashboard, the P and R column represent the preparer and the reviewer, which you can always turn on in your practice settings under the tasks tab. They're essentially roles that help you identify who's supervising what stage of the close, but it ties in very closely to the templates. So for example, let's say for my practice, the preparer is the one who's responsible for the transaction review reports. What I can then do is go back to my templates and when I'm editing who's responsible for those tasks, I can actually assign it to the role itself. Keeper is going to automatically know who falls under that prepare role for the client I'm assigning it to and assign it to them. So once I apply the templates, it's going to be able to tell that Shayna in this example should be the person who's assigned to those tasks in the transaction review section because she's my preparer. Now our third example is going to be an onboarding template and templates can be used to add sets of questions to your portal for clients as well. And a key example of this one is the new client onboarding template. So notice that there's already a set of some default tasks, but towards the bottom, there's also a set of some default questions, which you can always add to edit and customize. Now, when you apply this to the client, just keep in mind that it is not going to notify the client that there is questions in their portal. You still need to send that manual email to them, or you can set up the automatic recurring emails in your practice settings. That way they can answer them once they get notified. Lastly, I want to cover how to apply these templates when you're initially adding a new client to Keeper. So during the setup, what we're going to do is you're going to add a client and you're going to simply click into the close template option. From here, you can choose any one of your custom templates and then you're going to be able to visualize what that template's going to look like before you've applied it. Once it all looks good, go through the same motions of connecting the client and you'll find that once they get added to Keeper, those tasks, as well as those assignees and due dates are all going to be there. By taking advantage of Keeper's templates, you're gonna be able to create smoother and more efficient workflows, keep your client experience consistent, and cut down on those repetitive setup steps. This is gonna allow you to shift focus from basic admin to high value activities that make a difference for your clients. And this is where we're gonna call it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown of Keeper's templates features. And if you found it helpful, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or reach out to us using the purple widget in the bottom right corner. And lastly, check out the description of this video to find some helpful links and resources about today's topic. See you guys in the next one.